A year after U.S. President Joe Biden first launched what's known as the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework, or IPEF, negotiations have yielded what Washington is calling a landmark supply chain coordination agreement. Fourteen Pacific Rim countries have signed up so far, but given the current U.S.-China tensions, China is not part of the IPEF. Voice of America reports. Created a year ago by the White House, the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework was set up to enhance business opportunities for the 14 Pacific Rim countries that have signed up so far. Last week, representatives met in the U.S. and came away with what they are calling a plan to make supply chains in the region more secure. Service. U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo announced a plan that includes forming a crisis response network to give early warnings about supply chain disruptions along with a council to coordinate supply chain activities. Mark Mealy with the U.S. ASEAN Business Council gave this example of how that would work. Government, let's say, will agree we won't slap a ban on the export of rubber gloves, like in, in, in response to a future health pandemic. We'll agree to make sure that uh, we coordinate if we are going to have some restrictions on how, you know, air travel can occur. China is not part of IPEF, but its top trade representatives took part in the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Talks in Detroit. China's Commerce Minister Wang Wentao met with Commerce Secretary Raimondo, then met U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai on the sidelines of APEC. As the two largest economies in the world, how we relate to each other has implications not only for our economies, our workers, our businesses, our middle classes, but for the entire world. We know that. For business owners like Ben Zhang, whose Seattle company supplies corporations with promotional marketing products, other countries in the region still can't compete with China's manufacturing capabilities. It takes forever to fulfill a project. China is like, a, okay, you get a project, boom, 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 they get done. U.S.-China tensions are forcing businesses like Zhang's to employ a China Plus strategy and find alternatives to sourcing products in China. But COVID restrictions prevented him from traveling overseas to make new connections, and that makes it hard to move to producers that aren't China-based. In terms of reliability, we would basically have to take a, you know, take a gamble. That's part of the reason why decoupling from China is not an option for many businesses. But the hope is that IPEF might make that gamble less risky.